black holes. Some of the most destructive objects that we have found in the cosmos. These masters of gravity pull everything into their bodies with such force that not even light can escape. Can you imagine being sucked into one of these giants? Is it possible to survive that journey? What would it feel like? What would you see? Does a way out exist? Or would you be trapped inside forever? Approaching a black hole. Black holes are behemoth gravitational monsters sprinkled through the universe that will consume anything that gets too close, including light itself. All objects in the universe have a gravitational pull that varies based on the object's mass. In order for an object to escape the gravitational pull of a body, they need to move faster than what is called the escape velocity the speed that is needed to overcome the present gravitational pull. On Earth, the escape velocity is approximately 11 kilometers per second, which means in order to launch a spacecraft, it needs to accelerate to a speed faster than 11 kilometers per second in order to make it into space. For the Moon, an object would need to travel more than 2.5 kilometers per second, while in order to escape the Sun's gravity, an object would need to travel more than 600 kilometers per second. But when it comes to a black hole, the object would need to travel faster than the speed of light, a whopping 300,000 kilometers per second, to overpower the intense gravitational pull it generates. The location around a black hole where the escape velocity reaches the speed of light is called the event horizon. It's what we think of when we picture a black hole, the massive dark shell that traps everything that enters. What would happen as you fell inside? Beyond this event horizon lies the interior of the black hole. So, Say you do end up arriving inside of a black hole and start traveling closer to the event horizon. If you are near a super or ultra-massive black hole, you're in luck. Physicists have learned that these are the safest types of black holes to pass through the event horizon of. This is because the gravitational strength of the black hole changes drastically as you get closer to the center. If it happens to be a smaller black hole, unfortunately, the event horizon is much closer to the center of the black hole, making the gravitational force extremely strong. This would cause the gravitational pull on different parts of your body so extreme that there is no hope of passing through unharmed. But with a supermassive black hole, you could theoretically pass through the event horizon with very little discomfort due to a weaker and more uniform gravitational force. A much better trip compared to the spaghettification that most likely would happen with smaller ones. What would you see inside? Once you're inside the interior of the black hole, what would you see? Black holes create holes in space-time, and the region beyond the event horizon is completely isolated from the outside world, unable to affect it in any way. But while the black holes are entirely black and opaque from outside, inside of one, you would be able to see out, as they are completely transparent viewed from inside. While material and information from the outside world will still be able to travel into the black hole, you will never be able to transmit anything back in response. Passing past the Cauchy Horizon So what would the journey be like beyond the initial entry through the event horizon? There are two known horizons of black holes, the event horizon and the Cauchy Horizon, which lies a distance inside. Remember, as you travel closer to the center of a black hole, the gravitational pull will increase. But if you could brace yourself and survive the entry, maybe with the help of a durable ship, there are physicists who believe that a life inside the Cauchy horizon is possible. Even the great Stephen Hawking's work on black holes included the possibility that they do not destroy the matter and information that enter. If this is true, it could be possible to survive somewhere within the inner horizon of a massive black hole. 
In this region, the theories tell us that the environment becomes comparatively more stable and smooth with relatively weak radiation and tidal forces. A Russian astronomer has gone so far as to theorize that a much more advanced civilization could create ships that can find ultra-massive black holes and survive the extreme forces to establish an orbit within the event horizon. In a paper from Moscow's Institute for Nuclear Research, a researcher explains how an alien race could live safely inside a big enough black hole if they are able to find the right balance of forces. Black holes that are suitable for this type of civilization are called Schwarzschild black holes and have the unique feature of not rotating or existing in a static state. But unfortunately, a trip like this into a supermassive black hole would be a one-way trip according to all evidence present. There is no way for you to exit a black hole once inside. At least, not the way you came in. Possible ways of getting out. There are those who believe that something else may exist within the mysterious inner regions of black holes. Wormholes. A wormhole is basically a portal from one location in our universe to another location. It's like space itself folded, connecting two points separated by a vast distance allowing instantaneous travel. But there would be no way of knowing where we would end up. It could lead to an empty stretch of space, another planet inhabited by another race, or you may even pop into an entirely different universe. If wormholes do exist within a black hole, would it lead somewhere that we would want to go? While this is a way to possibly exit a black hole once inside, it may come with its own problems and challenges as well. Will we ever travel into a black hole? Right now, there are no real incentives beyond pure scientific exploration to travel into a black hole. There's still plenty that we do not know about our universe. If you were to travel back in time 100 years and try to explain the technology that we have today, it would be nearly incomprehensible and you would be met with confused faces. In the same way, we may not be able to conceive of the technological possibilities in the future and the technology we would need to travel into a black hole may be closer than we think. Science fiction certainly has a fondness for black holes as they have been used to time travel in many famous books and films. Maybe one day, these stories of science fiction will become much closer to reality. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. See you next time on Matter.